everyone, Kristen here. As you know, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. And many of you have turned to using an Instant Pot to uncomplicate your lives, just like I have. It does a wonderful job at making dried beans without soaking, making homemade yogurt, and so many other things. One thing it doesn't do well is slow cook. So if you have space in your house, I highly, highly recommend having a slow cooker for slow cook recipes and an Instant Pot for Instant Pot recipes. But what if you don't have the space or don't want two appliances? Well, I'm here to help you, but it's not as straightforward as you may think. You can use your slow cook function on Instant Pot, keeping in mind a few tips. Tip number one, you still must have one cup of thin liquid in your Instant Pot to slow cook. Without that thin liquid, your Instant Pot won't heat up and it will never reach the appropriate temperature. What if you've add the one cup of liquid and your Instant Pot keeps saying heating and it never starts the countdown for the cooking time? That means that your Instant Pot is struggling to get to the right temperature. You can override that by taking the lid off your Instant Pot and hitting saute. Let your Instant Pot saute for maybe three to four minutes, hit cancel, hit the slow cook again and reset the time and try again. That should allow your Instant Pot to come to the right temperature for slow cooking. To use the slow cook function, hit slow cook. To adjust from less normal to more, you're going to hit adjust. Less is like keep warm on a slow cooker, not low. Normal is like low cooking on a slow cooker. And more is like cooking on high for slow cook. If you'd like to slow cook a recipe that calls to be slow cooked for 15 hours on low heat, what you would do is hit slow cook, make sure normal is selected, and then adjust until it reads 15 hours. It'll take a few minutes to heat up and then the cooking time will start to count down. If you would like to slow cook something that calls to be slow cooked on high for four hours, you want to add 15 minutes for every hour. So that's 15 times four, which is 60. So for this, you would add an additional hour. Hit slow cook, adjust until it's on more, which is cooking on high, and then we're gonna cook for five hours. So that's it. If you need to use your Instant Pot as a slow cooker, I hope those tips helped. And in the meantime, be sure to check out my top five Instant Pot recipes in my next videos. Until next time, happy cooking.